Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, why is it easier to get hired as a front-end developer as opposed to a back-end developer? So let's get into it. Well, this is one of those subjective ones where somebody says something that is... Uh, <sighs> It always is. The, it's, this is always the case. As soon as you ask somebody, oh, why is this easier than that? You put me in this awesome situation where now I have to express an opinion on something that is super sensitive to some people. But because, uh, well, let's face it, uh, I, 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 I kind of have to express this opinion. And I'm sorry if, I, I'm sorry if th this is not in line with what you believe, but I will... I will I will comply and I will say this. The reason is very simple. It's because the industry has no goddamn idea what a good front-end developer is. It's actually that simple. The demand for front-end development and the, the explosion of popularity that came with React and Angular and SBA frameworks has left most of the back-end developers or the, the traditional software engineers in the dust at this point. They are simply not able to keep, like the demand is so massive that it's outp outpacing the adoption rate of most people. Let me explain. It used to be the case that you wouldn't, re you, you hired designers to do some small little piece of the UI. It was actually uh, back in the jQuery days, so simple, quote unquote. I'm not saying it was simple because it's not simple. It's more that for most companies' needs could be met by simply having a backend developer know something about JavaScript to accommodate things. I'm not saying it was good or perfect. I'm saying that that was the way it used to work. And for those people who had a really, really strong need for good, high quality design, they actually hired real web designers, people who did this. Like they, this was their focus or agencies. Now, with the adoption of SPAs, the explosion in complexity has it's, it became this kind of gray zone, which I think is absolutely lovely, where the complexity of the web applications we want to build with, say, React, is actually so high that it's tricky for you to find designers with the coding skills to actually scale such a system to really, you know, to the sort of scale that is needed. Just as it's very hard to find like really veteran backend developers who know enough to do the same thing. It's almost this in-between little piece between design and, uh, and backend development. And that's where the front-end developers come into play, where you have people who specialize in this sort of stuff, like developers or engineers, programmers, call them whatever you want. People who are really, really good with JavaScript and understand these frameworks and so forth to, and can build this stuff. Now, this, this idea of front-end developers as we know them today, are, I mean, the concept isn't all that old. And the, as, I, as I said, the fact of the matter is that people don't know. Like the companies have absolutely no idea what a good front-end developer is. And this is what I've told you in a few other videos. It, regardless of what you think a front-end developer does, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. The companies don't care. I've been in job interviews where they expect me to know Node just as well as I know. I can, if, if from, all I can say is that from what I can see, most companies define a front-end developer as somebody who's really, really good with SBA frameworks, JavaScript, Node, all of this stuff. Basically everything that has to do with the JavaScript ecosystem and that community. That is what they're looking for because the fact, and the reason I will argue <clears throat> that the definition is so loose is because they don't know. It's such a young field that they don't know what a good front-end developer is. And that is why I argue that today it is probably easier. I'm not saying it is easy, depending on how you define it, but it's probably easier to get hired as a front-end developer than it is to be hired as a back-end developer. Simply because the demand is so massive and like they need people today. Like they need people today. The problem is that there isn't not enough people, and the worst, and because there is no, there, there's not enough people, and the companies themselves don't actually really know this technology is still pretty new and fresh, and people are still kind of figuring out what best practices are and like how to do everything. The uh, you, it's it's a it's a much easier time to to get on board with a company if you have a strong understanding in, of JavaScript. My guess is, though, I will raise my finger and I will say this, is that this is a very temporary thing. My guess is that 
this is, we, because it's still kind of fresh and we are in this transition period now where the web is changing as we know it, my guess is that within the next maybe five, ten years, we will see some new things come into, like become kind of standard practice. There are a few really interesting things going on right now. And within 15 years, I'm pretty sure that the way that the, the way that we think about web development today is going to be very, very different. And the requirements on a front-end developer is going to go through the roof. My guess is that we will, in a f fairly, well, not that distant future, see that the requirements on a front-end developer is going to rival that of a back-end developer. Today, that is, in my opinion, not the case. It's two different skill sets, but because the Backend developers, I mean, we they have a history. Like the industry ha knows how to hire a backend developer. Code. I'm not saying that that's always the case, but there's a history. We they, it's a much more def well defined ecosystem of require of tools and requirements than what frontend is today. And that's why I argue it is a little bit might be a little bit easier to become a frontend developer. So what I want you to take away from this is that although I don't think that it's fair to say that it's easy to be a front-end developer. I think it's probably easier to get hired with within front-end development today simply because it, the demand is so high and the industry doesn't really know what a good front-end developer is today. It's that simple. Like they're, They just know that they need these React things and they need all these tools and they need somebody who knows them, but they have no idea how to find somebody who, who knows that stuff. And even when they check, it's very often that they don't even know how to verify that the person that they are interviewing actually really knows the stuff. That's how fresh this industry is. But I will raise my finger and I will say, I think this is a very temporary thing. And very fairly soon, I think we're going to see a, uh, like the like the industry kind of catching up and getting a good feel for what a good front-end developer is and then the bar is going to be raised have a great day